so students in this video we are going to study about the b tree constructing a b tree of order 3 so here m is equal to 3 with b tree of order 3 so as we know maximum key is equal to m minus 1 so m minus 1 is equal to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so max key is 2 so every node can have maximum two keys okay so we will uh, write here the formula that max key is equal to two so you will have only two keys in every node right so we will construct a binary tree uh, for this so these are the elements 50 30 21 90 10 13 20 70 25 92 and 30 okay so first step we will have we are having now see a node is having maximum two keys so there are two places so first of all insert here 50 so first element is 50 then next next element is 30 so while inserting 30 we have to maintain the ascending order so while inserting 30 we will be insert we will insert 30 at first place and 50 at second place right so this is step one step two actually right so this is overflow the this is called as overflow now next limit while taking next limit we need to split this so we'll see how to split uh, this uh, when we are having next element for the inserting in tree now see next element is 21 now if you follow the ascending order so 21 should be at first place right so 21 30 50 which is the middle element 30 so 30 will go at root so whichever is the middle element will go to the root and then other two will be leaf node okay so now here uh, we will be constructing third step in third step 30 will go up up means it will be uh, becoming becoming root now 30 so every node will have two places so 30 even though if it is blank we have to create two places right so 30 the left of 30 will be 21 because here we, we need to add 21 so 21 again two places and at the right of 30 it will be 50 all right so 50 and here two places right next comes 90 so for 90 see for 90 90 is greater than 30 so come to the right part of the tree so 90 is again greater than 50 so 90 will be added here right so here it will be 90 right so next next is to add 10 okay so to add 10 see you have to see the sequence so 10 will be added before 21 so the figure will be same just we have to maintain the ascending order okay so here it will be 30 right and the left child will be 10 and 21 okay in the right part this two will be same like 50 and 90 right so next element that we need to trace is 13 13 should be added to the left of 30 to the left of 30 means there are the, this this node is full so 13 should be added in between actually but it is full so we have to split it so middle element will be root as we know middle will be root so 13 will be going as a root element now when it is going at a root there is a vacant place at the root but here ascending order will be maintained so tree will be like this step 5 so at the root now there are two elements one is 13 and earlier element was 30 okay so there are two elements here 13 and 30 at the left of, left of 13 we are having 10 right and there are two places at the right of 13 we are having 21 there are again two places right then 50 and 90 as same greater than 30 so will be at the right side of the 30 so 50 and 90 right next comes 20 so 20 will be added here but we have to maintain the ascending order so it will be like this 66 or 6 say 13 30 next is 10 10 and here we are having one more place right then 21 
sorry here it will be 20 we have to add 20 21 let me correct it so as we need to add 20 so 20 will be added here because there is a space here 20 21 and 30 there is a same like 50 and 90 okay now next element that we have to trace is now 70 now check for 70 70 uh, should be added in between these two so we have to split this so by splitting this 70 will go at the up but at up there will be again overflow so same should, should be added here so 30 will be center so 30 will become the root node so we will see how this uh, will take place so step number 7 see step number 7 uh, we have to split this so 30 will be going at root 30 will be going at root there are two places for 30 and the left of 30 there will be 13 right at the right of 30 we are having a 70 because we have split this into two okay so 30 13 and 70 at the left of 13 we are already we are having 10 so here 10 at the right of 13 we are having 20 21 right then this 50 and 90 so we have to check whether 50 is less than 70 yes 50 is less than 70 so it will go to the left side of the 70 so 50 and this will be single element 90 will not be along with 50 because 90 is greater than 70 so here we have to take care that 90 should be at the right side of the 70 okay so this will be the, the correct figure while uh, adding 90 okay now next element that we have to while adding 70 we have seen now next element is 25 so check in figure 25 now for 25 as the sequence 25 is less than 30 so it will go to the left part it is 13 so it is greater than 13 so greater than 13 so here at last there should be 25 but this element again is this node is overflow so 21 will go up right so 21 will go up and 21 will go here so here will be 21 and it will be taken by 25 okay so this will be figure again we will draw the figure like step 8 In step 8 we are having 30 at the top right here it will be 13 and newly added 21 right and the leftmost part of the 13 there will be 10 this will be blank at the right part of the 13 we are having 20 only right now here see 20 25 we have to see so 20 is less than 21 so it is at the left part 25 is right part because it is greater than 21 so 25 and this is blank then to the right part of the 30 we are having 70 70 50 is less than 70 so 50 at the left part of the 70 90 is greater than 70 so obviously it is 90 and this is blank right so this is the figure after we have added 25 then go for the 92 right so when you need to add 92 you know that 92 can be added at the this position because it is already 90 and 92 right so 90 92 there is a space there now next last element that you need to add is 80 okay so for 80 we have to again check whether we have we are having space here so for which element now we have to insert 80 okay so for inserting 80 we need to check so 80 is greater than 30 so it will be coming to the right side then for 70 compare 80 with 70 80 is greater than 70 so it is coming to the right part but here again there is a overflow right so but here 80 will be added at the 
first so which is the middle element that is 90 so 90 will go up as a root so obviously here there is a space so here 90 will go right here 90 will be erased and 80 will be coming here so we will draw the final figure so in final figure that is next step number 9 see we will uh, draw our root is 30 right to the left of 30 we are having two elements that is 13 and 21 to the left of 13 we are having 10 to the right of 13 we are having 20 to the right of 21 we are having 25 to the right of 30 now we will be adding 70 and 90 right 70 90 so the, to the left of 70 we are having 50 to the right of now, now see here one number is 80 another is 92 so 80 is greater than 70 so 80 will be added here but 92 will not be added all, along with 80 we need to add 92 to the right of 90 because 92 is greater than 90 right so this is the final answer that addition of these numbers in b3 so this is the final figure that we are drawn we have to keep in mind that the number which is greater should be added to the right side okay hope you understood this topic thank you